up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Now, today we have a crazy story that's been unfolding here on Twitch and on YouTube over the last couple weeks. We have an old school YouTuber known as Athene. He's kind of been known as a gaming activist. Uh, back in 2012, I think you raised like a million dollars for, for charity. Yes, indeed. You've been always like uh, doing a lot of stuff in the gaming world for charity and stuff. Now, you made this company Gaming for Good. Can you explain what that is? So yeah, Gaming for Good is a website that we started, I think it was three years ago or, th or two years ago. I don't even know the exact uh, time. And um, it started with the ability for people to donate and the that money would give them points that they can then uh, give to get free games. That was the concept of Gaming for Good. And uh, Gaming for Good was never really a company. It was just a website that was started uh, by volunteers. And uh, yeah, we never really took a cut or anything. It was just a portal site to the charity and we just tracked the amount that went to charity, gave them points, and then people could trade, this point, uh, trade those points in for games. That's basically the idea. Now, how is it, is it a competitor to Twitch Alerts? Be because that's basically why we have you on here is to talk about the, this feud between you and Twitch Alerts. Like how does it compete against Twitch Alerts? So it's actually going to sound really crazy, but uh, Gaming for Good didn't use to compete with Twitch Alerts. It's only last year, around February, that uh, when Twitch Alerts, it was actually a service we used, we, we, we actually really liked Twitch Alerts, that suddenly started taking a cut from the donations. And we just saw from one day to another money going from our PayPal to Twitch Alerts. And we're like, whoa, what is going on? This is just crazy. And um, basically, we saw that there was an outcry about it. But since there was no alternative, uh, there was not so much we could do about it. So that day, I said, like, hmm, I'm going to, you know, give the functionality that Twitch Alerts also gives and even better and more for streamers, because I know I can guarantee this service to be free without taking a cut or anything. And that's why we, you know, we started uh, Gaming for Good. We changed Gaming for Good to also allowed to be a, uh, an alert system. So for those of you that don't know, we're talking about like when you're watching a gamer stream and you donate, like things pop up. That's a separate program called Twitch Alerts or uh, Gaming for Good. Now, once you started doing that, you noticed that like your stream started getting botted a lot. Can you explain like- So like, so yeah, basically uh, fast forward to February this year, um, we started streaming and uh, we started doing a big event around Gaming for Good to push it, to promote it. And we started getting a lot of fake views. For the people that don't know, you can actually, you know, very easily with a lot of services inflate your views. The problem is that, you know, it's quite frowned upon unless you do it good enough. So people don't notice that it's fake views and you can do that by inflating the chatters as well. So we just got blatantly uh, uh, inflated by only views without the chatters, which makes it very obvious that uh, like my channel is being view bottled. When I saw that, I was like, hmm, the first day, honestly, I thought like, hmm, this is just, you know, it's just a fan because I've already been view bothered quite a bit in the past now and again. And I said, this is just going to go over, but it kept it kept going uh, day after day. Then I decided to reach out to Twitch and uh, tell them like, hey, uh, can you guys, you know, equalize the views with the chatters because this is really going to blow up. It's going to ruin my reputation. They uh, responded and they said they couldn't do anything about it. I was like, uh, at that point, in, in retrospect, I should have stopped streaming, but I just felt it was so wrong. I said like, I'm not doing it, so I shouldn't be stopping my stream and this entire event because someone is doing this to me. I kept streaming, then it just blew up all the way. Uh, you had a lot of streamers starting to call me out and honestly, um, like uh, rightfully so, because I was getting view bothered. And uh, at the same time, like uh, a lot of people were starting to talk bad. I was very transparent and open. I even stated even before it blew up that my channel was being view bothered. And uh, yeah, like it blew up. And even with me saying and being very active about it and talking about it, 
the uh, you know it spread like fire and it really damaged the reputation of gaming for good because I also had an event running which is the Avenger project where we had around 2,500 streamers committed to use gaming for good if there was a big disaster and then uh, like a category one disaster and because of the drought in Ethiopia we then ended up going there and uh, like a lot of the streamers said like hey I'm not actually going to stream because you're a view butter and we also had then uh, on top of that like a lot of big streamers being tweeted uh, aggressively saying that I'm a view butter and Twitch alerts has zero percent fees right. that and I was the, like in, hmm. in, the, in the video that you uploaded um, you were like live streaming Twitter and there was an active Twitter bot like spamming all these other Twitch streamers saying you know yes. Athene is a bad guy he, he's he's view botting and stuff it's clear that somebody has uh, been out to discredit you and attack you um, well, now, like, yeah, like, like, uh, I, I do agree. And, and honestly, um, at that time, if it wasn't for uh, the cause being hurt so much, I wouldn't even have made a video about it. It's because people were starting to say like, hey, I'm not going to fundraise for charity. That was like, I got to talk about it. I got to show these tweets because what is going on here? I don't know who is behind it, but people have to know about it. So I made a video about it. And uh, like I also talked about the uh, tweet, the tweets that also talk about Twitch alerts having zero percent fees and such. So I, I just made a video about it. We came back. Um, like to just give you a full rundown. We came back. Like there was uh, Zerator, a big streamer, managed to, like also with a few other streamers like Elijah and such, managed to like still raise quite a bit. But we would have raised a lot more without all this uh, all this drama. So we came back. And um, it was just, you know, like it just kept going. And I just ended up deciding to stop streaming completely because it was just harming gaming for good. And honestly, if I wanted to bot, I know how these services work. I would just have done it in a way that doesn't make it look so, you know, so blatant that it was view botting. And uh, like I just ended up quitting streaming. And it's only like last week, Friday, very coincidentally, that um, someone from Twitch Alerts contacted me. Andrew Steele uh, to have a talk with me and I said like let's have this talk publicly I'd right. love to talk, uh, like like to talk to you publicly that's actually two two weeks ago but he just removed me didn't go through then like a uh, like uh, two weeks after that when uh, one of my friends Maral actually met Andrew Steele uh, at TwitchCon and had the business card and on the business card was the Twitch uh, the Twitch what is it the Twitch name yeah. which was Chrono and Chrono was uh, the reason how I know is because Chrono at that time was in our Discord, like spamming, really, uh, really, you know, like, like really uh, saying that we were like that everybody was 15 year olds and the charity stuff. And then Maral, because she was also in Discord, said like, but this is Andrew Steele. So I was like, holy moly, this is crazy. So I went to bed. Uh, I woke up and then suddenly I had people from the Discord telling me like, whoa, we did some digging. Look at what uh, Chrono did in your own Twitch chat. And then I saw like like about view botting and, and all this stuff, all this spam. And like, holy, holy moly, I got to make a video about it. I got to uh, tell people and, and I'm just going to start streaming again because it's become much and much more clear that I'm not the one doing the view botting. Right. And so I to, also, to, yeah. to recap, you're, <laughs> all these Ute streamers are getting spammed on Twitter that you're a view botter. You're being view botting. Uh, you're being view botted. And then all of a sudden you find a guy from Twitch alerts in your chat logs talking smack about you and in your discord talking smack about you. So yes, you've kind of and connected. Spamming. That yes. And spamming that I'm, uh, I'm a, I'm a view botter and I'm a scam. And honestly, what's also crazy is that like afterwards, when we figured out that the CEO's Vulcan, the, the CEO of Vulcan, which also the CEO of uh, Twitch Alert, was also once in our chat calling us a view butter and scam, a scamming view butter. Like, I'm, I'm just like, for me, it's just baffling that all these things happen. And to me, I don't have proof. I don't know if Twitch Alert is behind it. I don't know. Right, but, but you I'm have saying, proof of them, like, you know, yes, a, yes, a, I attacking you and topping. Uh, yes. Why do you think, I, I mean, it just seems like, you know, that they would be behind this because they're trying to, you know, destroy your character or whatever. Um, well, and you do have proof of them in your chat saying, you know, all this that you're a view butter and all this stuff. But the thing is, why do you think I, that they would go to these great lengths to um, to attack you like this? 
Well, honestly, um, just like in the justice system, the proof of, of uh, the burden of proof is on the one that is doing the accusation, right? Right. And 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 that's how I respect it. So I'm not gonna say that Twitch Alerts is doing it because I don't have concrete proof. In contrary to what Twitch Alerts is doing, they're saying I'm the view butter. They've been calling me out without any evidence whatsoever. And it's not just about you know like the view botting. They also like some people that work for Twitch Alerts said in the chat even in destiny's chat that the charity you know that it's fake money and i'm like like this is just and i had people from save the children themselves coming out and saying it's purely legit and 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 they even like 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 same with chrono saying that g2a owns me that g2a is an evil company while even with g2a we just have a collaboration with them they don't own me at all and then when i also read like all the you know accusations on on the the force on reddit which uh, the ceo of vulcan has made i know there's quite a lot of information but like like a lot of these things just do not add up and make no sense it's not evidence and what i got to to like the, the cherry on the pie is i got a season and desist after i made the video friday and i said like hey this is all happening like look at the chat box i want to have a public talk about this and uh like uh, then on the sunday which is a few days ago i got a season this is a very aggressive one like literally threatening like that, that you know to sue me and, and 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 i would go to prison and all like i could go potentially to prison and 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 the thing is like since then i was like this this is not how you deal with a gamer like i'm just a gamer this uh, like like this should not be the way you deal with these kind of situation in the industry and i know right. this also has happened to other gamers and to me, it was just about making a stance. I was like, I do not accept this. I'm not going to get myself bullied into this. This is literally vexatious litigation, what they're doing. It's illegal to do what they do and uh, to do what they did. And I just said, like, listen, I want to have a talk. I want to talk about this publicly. I don't want to create drama. I've actually been quite quiet. Because the because days. here's the thing. If Twitch Alert is guilty of all this stuff and trying to make you out to be this bad guy because they see you as a competitor, and you know they risk losing money uh you know with you doing the same thing that they do um that's going to make them look really bad so of course they would try to like you know put forward any legal action to kind of try to shut you up now just so everyone understands we've invited twitch alerts to come on this show to talk with athene uh many times they have not responded we would love to get their side of the story here but that um, is that, like honestly i, I really want to say something about about this because I'm all about being transparent and open and honest. And I would love to have a call and, and let this and leave this all behind. Why not? Like if they can go and attack me in such a public matter and, 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 and you know, like do what all they did. I think the least I deserve is the dignity of having this, this call on the stream so everybody can hear it. Same with like, 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 like this, this call that I'm having now with you. Right. You reached out to me to do an interview, like your assistant reached out. I don't mind having this call and I don't mind answering any kind of question. You can scrutinize everything as deep as you want. I would love to give, you know, to give feedback and give information about everything because I have nothing to hide. I'm not making up lies. I'm not making up false accusations. I'm just trying to deal with the situation and to see what is going on. Like to me, I'm actually quite baffled that that I could be put in this spot. I haven't even slept so well the past days because it's quite stressful. Like a su uh, like like a lawsuit from a, a multi-million dollar right. company. It could really, you know, it could uh, it, it could really take up a lot of time, a lot of resources. And honestly, like it's it's not the way to deal with these things. I don't understand why they do this. Certainly, since if you look at my track record where I raised more than 20, like around 22 million dollars for charity together with the gaming community and also supported to, uh, with together to the top, like so many YouTubers, I think like uh, back in the days, you you've been on, on YouTube for a long time. You know, uh, you know me since a long time as well. I've always been all about the community and even gaming for good is to support gamers in a better way, in a way that we don't take a cut support and they, people when they donate, they can also choose how much goes to charity and then to deal with this. I just I'm on I'm, I'm on a I've a known you I, I've known about you and known you for for years and you've always been you know raising money for charity like I said like back in 2012 you raised a million dollars I mean back then you know the community was much smaller that was like a huge huge thing to raise that much money so um I I don't know guys let us know what you think in the comments below twitch alerts if you are guilty of this 
man, you're you're doing really bad here in the community. Guys, uh, if you like this video, if you like this interview, please slap a like on it. Drum Alert Nation now over 1,220,000 subscribers. Awesome interview. Thanks for coming on, dude. Thank you. And uh, I really hope this blows over because honestly, uh, like I just want to move on. Like honestly, it's really, it's been quite stressy and I, I honestly don't understand why they're doing it. Dude, yeah. I mean, with them in the comments, with them in the comments and with them in your chat, like talking smack about you, like, I mean, you don't have to be Alex Jones to put the whole thing together that they are clearly attacking you. Like, Well, the thing.